Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls. I'm here to do a spiritual update for Libra. How are you guys doing? Welcome and thank you for all of your love and your patience. Um, I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you guys. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel to continue growing our beautiful, um, our beautiful family here for Moons and Pearls. All right, let's see what's in the current energy for Libra. We'll talk a little bit um, on saying uh, abundant thoughts for you guys. Surrender. So are you feeling like you're going with the flow and giving up on something or someone or some sort of situation? I also feel like, like you've, you have felt a calling to change or to let go of certain patterns, but you've been working through that as a shadow. Like... It's been a little bit hard and there's your reminder here to ground yourself. So maybe going on a walk outside, connecting with the universe, just trying to do a little bit of that. I want to talk a little bit of your shadow side next to the surrender card um, <clears throat> because uh, clinging on to the old, unwilling to let go, decay endings and being left behind. But right next to the card, we have surrender. So I feel like if you were holding on to something or um, acceptance, relinquishing control, yielding, it's like you're finally at a stage where you're ready to completely let go of a situation. Um, I don't know if you like kayaking or water energy here, um, but I feel like you're finally like moving with the flow, like no resistance. Um, and of course, grounding yourself. So going out for a walk, by yourself, hugging a tree, um, walking barefoot, just feeling that fresh air connecting with Mother Gaia is here for you as a reminder. So let's get into your tarot. Let's see what else has been challenging our beautiful Libras. What's been challenging Libra? Right away, okay. So there's someone um, here that has been, um, I won't say stalking, like obsessively looking at your pages. I don't feel like this is your energy, but this is an energy that's like really attached to you. Um, you, this person was very unclear with what they wanted in their life. Um, and I feel like the challenge was letting go of a situation that you knew you were not victorious. Um, even though it made you sad, you finally communicated this, like I'm moving forward, I'm moving on. Um, there's no going back into this, but this energy is really clinging on to you. So I don't feel like you're talking to this person, but if you do, it's very minimal. This person definitely sees you as a lost opportunity. Of course, losing you is losing everything, but I do feel like in this situation, it is too late. Again, the challenge has been making that final decision, making that final cut um, from a situation that was feeling like chains more, more so than anything. Yeah, there was someone who wasn't honest with their feelings and now things have come out to light. Whether it was intentions or lies, manipulation, I feel like God has given you the clarity to see things for what they are, which is why you're moving forward. Um, you cannot be deceived. Your intuition has heightened. And now that you see it, now you see the truth for what it is, you're able to go ahead and do those uh, forward movement steps, uh, renting a new place, moving to somewhere new, you're just moving forward, okay? Let's see what's in the current energy, current energy for Libra. Oh, you're so loving. Libra, you are you are one of those signs that when you love, you love with everything. You're very detailed. Uh, you pay attention to details, but you're also going within. I feel like you're not talking to a lot of people. Maybe there's one or two people you really, really trust. But other than that, you are keeping your most um, intense feelings to yourself. Uh, right now we have lovers energy, Gemini energy. Tell me more. Tell me more in the current energy. But I feel like if you are 
talking to someone uh, romantically, you're you're not really sure if you should move forward uh, romantically with this person, this other person. This person could be a boss, older person could be a father figure. Um, but I feel like you've been in your head for some time, maybe one or two months. Um, but I feel you stuck. Even though you have all this love, I feel you stuck. Like not really making a move, Libra. A little bit set in your ways or a little bit stubborn, but I just feel like you've worked so hard to be where you're at that you don't want to you don't want to put your yourself in a position where you are depleted from your energy, exhausted, depressed, and going back into that cycle. So I feel like this is why you're kind of watching things unravel, but not really making any fast movements. Okay, let's see what's coming towards you in the near future. What's coming towards your beautiful Libra in the near future. There's an opportunity to work with someone, build with someone. This could be um, a new job or at your job, you might be moving up in management, I hear, or supervisor position. There's that defensiveness. I feel like when this offer is talked about or brought up to you, it's gonna move too slow or it's gonna make you not trust it. Yeah. I feel like you're gonna really pay attention to if you are happy or not. And I think this, these are some of the times in which you're finally putting yourself first. Um, so if you feel like it's not going to make you happy, I don't see you making a move, okay? Um, let's see, what do we have from our abundance cards? I want you guys to have just an open mind to abundance and love, finances, and just feeling good because you've made it this far. My outlook on life is unlimited. When I refuse to limit my outlook on life to what could happen, I open up to what can happen. Okay, a lot. One more for Libra and abundance. We have, I remain, remain attentive and aware about life. When I am aware and attentive to life, I can recognize and act upon opportunity. So I do feel like you're, you're, you're more heightened. Your intuition is more heightened. So not just in terms of partners, but also in opportunities at your job. And our self-care death that I just love so much we have space the quality of your life has more to do with what you remove from your life than what you add to it give yourself the gift of space uh oh somebody's getting removed from your life um intention what if the only resolution you made was to love yourself more okay you are your number one libra you're starting the year being your number one Power, the ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is own your power. So boundaries, putting yourself first, saying no. Okay, Libra, um, we'll do our angel cards and we'll call this a read, you guys. If you haven't already done so, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. It keeps our channel growing. Look for a sign. So continue to pray, continue to meditate. Because God and your angels, they're watching you and they want to take care of you. Forgiveness. I think as you work on surrendering the situation, you'll definitely look at this term forgiveness like with a different um, perspective. Be assertive. When you're, when you're talking about your boundaries, um, I feel like you have to speak clearly with what you want, with your needs and all of that. So be assertive. This situation calls for you to take matters into your own hands. You must get clear on your personal feelings and then pursue the fulfillment of your desires with courage and self-confidence. Ask for what you need without watering down your requests in order to satisfy others. Remember that seeing to your own needs is nothing to apologize for. 
Set boundaries with those around you in order to create a safe and fair environment. Tailor your actions so that you earn the respect from others you deserve and then move forward. All right, beautiful reading, you guys. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.